Week two is overdubbing. Not only cleaning up the guitar and vocals from the first week, but adding extra instruments. And it was really the point when Garrett Cato stepped up to play as producer, and not only blew my expectations out of the water for this album, but completely took my songs in the exact direction I knew in my heart they should go. Being fortunate enough to be raised by an amazing mom, who was alive in the 60s, went to Woodstock, saw Jimi Hendrix, and so many artists back then. Really what I wanted to do with this album is to show respect to those past artists, music styles, and influences, as well as the current trend, to keep a bit of the old with a touch of the new. What I discussed with Garrett Cato at the start is that I wanted this album to be honest, as when I first started out, most likely the shows I would be playing would be solo. Being born and raised in Florida, as well as going over to visit one of my best childhood friends in Hawaii, meant that I was very heavily influenced by reggae music. Also growing up in Florida at a young age, I had lots of friends who were into hip-hop and rap, then when I visited my dad in New Orleans, I was heavily influenced by blues and jazz. Working with Garrett Cato on this album has also been a very big learning process for me. Not only with my songwriting ability, with the direction to take my song, but also being blown away by all the different sounds and different options we could come up with with how to direct the songs. You're singing for German grandmother who doesn't speak English, yeah. and your tonality is the version of Snoop Dogg. Because not only does he know the exact direction to take my songs, but what I love is that we always constantly make our decisions based on feeling. Working with Garrett Cato has also been a big inspiration for me. Not only is he a producer, but he's also an accomplished singer-songwriter. He's been in the industry a lot longer than me, and it's good to have him not only to give me advice, to give me direction, but also to see somebody that's made it. Me and Garrett decided that we would have a little bit of fun and try and do different instruments to put on the album. And we were successful not only in creating some amazing bass lines, but having a lot of fun in the process. We also had guest vocals. I was very stoked to have Ariel come join us, who I had met when I was playing at 123 Bar, as well as Garrett Cato making guest appearance on my song New Day. With so many different moving parts, and pretty much acting as if I was a record label, a manager, a booking agent, executive producer, and creative artist. It's become quite challenging in order to organize myself. But funny enough, looking backward, I can see almost as if every job and every experience I had has led to this moment. I can't be any more excited with what's happening with this album. Not only that we're going to be releasing it, but pretty soon I'm going to be hitting the road, going across the USA in a van doing shows, Canada, back to Australia, and hopefully Hawaii in December. Open up your mind and see like me Open up your plans and damn you're free I look into your heart and you'll find love, 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 love Come on over here, my dear I'll fall back in love with me Let's go slow, let the fire burn low Let the fire burn, let the fire burn low